All right, guys, my name is Tommy, and this is the Gallery Backyard Barbecue. And on today's show, we got another mod video with this Char Griller 980, one that I am definitely looking forward to seeing how this is gonna turn out. I right, so look, when the Char Griller 980 came out and I compared it up to the uh, master builds, I gave it low scores on the amount of smoke that it can add to the food. And the reason being is you could mix out wood in the hopper on the master builds, on any of the master builds, and you can add as much wood you want down in the ash catcher and get plenty of smoke on your food. But on the Char Griller, any types of wood wood in the ash catcher gonna cause that flap to burn up. It happens to most people, maybe not everyone, but definitely most people. I called it and my man Luke came out with a uh, mod that definitely fixed that. And that brought the uh, char griller right up even with the uh, master build, no doubt about it. Add as much wood as you want and you should be good to go. So look, that is gonna lead us right in today's show. I got a uh, nice prime cut here of a, a ribeye steak. I am gonna smoke it on the char griller. I'm gonna bring it up to a perfect 110 Fahrenheit, and then I will attach out this mod right here, fire the char griller up, and see what happens. Oh yeah, this is gonna be fun. And look, man, I'm gonna cut out all the uh, gibberish and get right to the point. So this is gonna be a fairly quick video. So hang in there and let's, uh, let's check it out. Guys, up on the screen, as you could see, I got a nice little cowboy ribeye. And look, what I'm gonna do with this bad boy is just go kosher salt and black pepper. So look, those who follow the channel know my one gripe with these uh, char grillers and these uh, master builds is just the lack of searing, the lack of char. You basically need a good old grease fire just to get some, uh, get some flame on a steak. So hopefully this mod uh, does what it's supposed to do and we can char up some beef. Oh. All right, guys, look, man, I am thinking about an hour of smoke on this uh, ribeye. I should get it to that desired temperature. At that point, I'll bring you back. Oh, yeah. All right, guys, look, man, we are about 45 minutes in, and unfortunately, I got a little tied up into the house, so she ran a little bit over on a temperature. You know, I like my uh, steak at least medium rare, but we will have to see. Let's get it pulled off. Let's get it on the board. Let's get this mod installed on the Char Griller 980 and then see what happens. Oh, yeah. So guys, as noted, I did uh, overshoot the temp by about five, six degrees and no big deal as this video is really about this, uh, about this mod here. And basically I'll get the uh, steak off, let it rest, turn the pit up to about 600 Fahrenheit and install the mod. So look, in testing, I did find that your uh, fuel is better on the uh, bottom 25% of the hopper. You don't want a full hopper of fuel, otherwise you're not going to get that flame, and you definitely want the flame. Now let's char some steak. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And I can tell you already, man, that is what I'm talking about. Guys, that is pretty much clean. A fire hitting that beef, man. That is going to put the char. That is going to put the flavor. I'm basically posing for pictures there. Oh. Guys, look, man, a little bit thicker of a cut of beef and that nailed a temperature of 110 Fahrenheit. I would have left it on longer, 
but as it is, I don't want to leave it on too long, and we're probably less than a minute and a half on this uh, on this fire. And oh man, the flavor! Oh. amazing color look guys i am going to take this in live for some closing thoughts and a taste test oh look at the juice oh yeah oh i'm jacked All right, guys, look, man, we will hit those closing thoughts now. Please hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so you get notified every time the channel does a future upload. All right, guys, look, man, that is it. And I have to say, man, this is just another little piece in an arsenal to make these uh, gravity feds. I am talking the Char Griller 980 as well as the Master Builds because this mod will work in those pits also. It just adds to the amount of uh, fun and the amount of stuff that you can do to the pits. I can see uh, this thing right here got up to uh, pretty close to a thousand degrees. I had the uh, laser on it, but didn't turn that one camera on. It was about 900 degrees. We were getting direct flame on it. And you could probably fit two or three burgers on this. One steak at a time will uh, We'll have to do and hey man whatever else you can uh whatever else you want to grill whatever else you want to sear maybe a, a small tri tip would be perfect and like i said man this just takes the uh, 980 and also the uh, master built to a whole nother level so now look man as far as our steak right here it's pretty much perfection i did overshoot the temp a little bit i am more of a uh, medium rare guy we're probably about a medium well over here it is what it is But we definitely got a uh, lot of smoke flavor on it. And then we got that sear flavor, that char flavor, which is uh, definitely the best of both worlds for me. Oh, man. Guys, it's about 10.30 a.m. on a Monday morning, and I got a charred steak sitting right here. Man, I can't possibly eat this thing, can I? Oh, shit. Awesome flavor, man. Awesome flavor. The char. Like I said, man, the uh, Pit Boss 1600 gives you that flame to kiss char. The uh, Master Builds and the uh, Char Griller do not, except for now. Now you can add that, like I said. I'll have information on this mod down below. And that is it. I am going to close out this one. Until next time, we will see you soon. <laughs>